Okay, so the YouTube channel Jayrus of All created a challenge for the maker community. It is the hashtag human powered PVC Warhorn challenge. Essentially, you're supposed to create some kind of Warhorn out of PVC and it obviously has to be human powered. So I haven't done much heat shaping with PVC before, which intimidated me at first. I decided that I was going to create some kind of design for this challenge that wouldn't require that. So here's my little test. It's obviously really boring and kind of ugly on the end, but it does work. and it creates one of the most obnoxious noises I've ever heard, which is perfect. So, I wanna take this boring little thing and scale it up. So here is what I came up with. So essentially, we have a bike pump, which will be our human power, that goes into an air canister with a bike valve, so I can input that air. Then we have a pump valve right here, which you can release to release all the air pressure into five of my little crappy horns. So essentially what I'm creating is a multi-barreled, shoulder-mounted, bike pump actuated PVC Warhorn. Hashtag. All right, so this is pretty much everything that I need for my air pressure container. Essentially, I have a three inch end cap that I'm going to insert a bike valve into. That bike valve is going to let us actually put pressure into container. Then for the center of the tank, I have a 10 inch section of three inch PVC. You can pretty much do any size that you want, but 10 inch felt like a good mix between impressive size and actual utility. Then I have to reduce down to one inch. Now, I had to use two different parts for this, a three inch to two inch adapter, and then a two inch to a one inch adapter. But if you can find a three to one, then you're golden. Finally, I've got the valve and the threads there on the end. The valve is going to let us uh, vent the air pressure, and then the threads are going to let us detach the front bit if I want to reuse this air container for something else. Now, in between the valve and the adapter and the valve and the threads, I'm also going to need a small inch of PVC to put in between. So let's go ahead and cut those two pieces and then glue it all together. All right, so the next thing to do is to actually insert your bike valve. Now, just drilling a hole and then sticking the bike valve in isn't really good enough because you're going to risk leaks. So the best thing to do is actually use some rubber gaskets as well as lock nuts. All right, so now we have all of the pieces that we need to assemble our air pressure container. First things first, you wanna actually clean all of your containers. You can use some rubbing alcohol and a rag to do this or just some soap and water as long as you thoroughly dry it out. All right, so we're ready to actually assemble pieces. Now, I haven't done a lot of PVC shit, so I might not be doing this super well. Let me know if you spot something that I could be doing better. But essentially all you're gonna do is use some PVC primer, put that on your two pieces, give it just a second, but while it's still wet, use PVC cement and then bond them together. All right, so there it is. It's not beautiful. Um, I used a little bit too much glue in some places. I didn't push it down far enough before it hardened in other places, but here's our air pressure container. It should work. Okay, so before we just move on with the project, why don't we make sure that the air canister works? So if we close up the valve and attach our bike pump, we can test it out. So I'll only do five pumps for now, just to be sure that nothing breaks, but here's our moment of truth. Jesus I guess it works. All right, so why don't we build the front of this monstrosity? Essentially, we have these cross sections here to split us up and the elbows to actually connect to five of our mini horns. So why don't I show you how I built this first mini horn and then we'll build the other four. Okay, comrades, here's completed mini horn. So essentially all this sucker is is a one foot section of one inch PVC. I heated up the end using a heat gun and flared it out, and I attached a piece of dowel in the back using some super glue as well as hot glue to fill in the gaps. 
So the reason that you need that little piece of dowel is because you need something special in there. So it turns out that you can just pop these out. So. All right, now we have our little mini horns. Now, a tip for you guys, if you are trying to shape PVC, it's going to want to spring back to its original shape. The easiest way to stop it from doing that is when you have the shape you want, you just dunk it in some cold water. Reducing the temperature quickly is going to make it want to stay in that shape. So now that we do have all of our pieces, we're going to clean them with the alcohol just like before and then connect them together. And once we have it connected, we're pretty much done. Okay, so I've completed the front of the Warhorn. Uh, it looks absolutely absurd, which is pretty much exactly what I was going for, so I'm pretty pleased. Now, I'm not gonna show you how it sounds just yet because this is a Warhorn. I gotta put on my armor. Oh, it's hot in there. Whew. Okay, well, this is my hashtag multi-barreled, shoulder-mounted, bike pump actuated PVC Warhorn for the hashtag human-powered PVC Warhorn challenge. It's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> I think the problem is essentially that those Little uh, squeaker toy squeakers just can't handle the high pressure. If you release it all at once, like I've been doing, it just barely makes any noise, to be honest. And inter interestingly enough, if I detach it and just blow it with my mouth instead, it actually works a lot better. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It is delightfully terrible, and it sounds like shit, and I don't think any enemy would be intimidated if they heard this coming at them. But it was a lot of fun to make. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Spread the video around. Uh, hopefully, Jairus, you're watching this right now. Um, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I'm off to Burning Man for a week and I'm gonna bring this along and annoy as many people with it as I possibly can. But otherwise, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time, if you will.